In this video, we're going to take a look at price ceilings. Price ceilings are maximum prices that are set below the normal equilibrium. Um, these are set by the government. So this is a way of the government to intervene in the market and control prices. Um, so we're going to start by taking a look at our classic supply and demand uh, graph. So the market where we have an equilibrium price of $10 and an equilibrium quantity of $100. Um, so something may have happened. The government may decide that that $10 is just too much for most people to afford. Um, and so they're going to step in and set a maximum price of $6. Um, as a result of this maximum price of $6, we can see um, that we, we can no longer reach equilibrium here. At this point now, what we see is a $6 price crosses the supply curve here and the demand curve here. The result of that is that we have 60 units of this particular good being produced and 140 being demanded. So this is how many will be produced at $6, and this is how many people actually want to purchase at $6. So as you can see, we have a shortage of 80 of these of this particular product. Um, the result of this shortage uh, will be some upward pressure on price. So what we'll find is that at 60 units and a price of $6, this is how many would be supplied, but at 60 units, this is how many people actually are demanding the product, and this is the price they're willing to pay, which is $18. So typically what will happen is you'll see a black market be created um, that will increase the price from $6 to $18. The most common example of this type of government control in a market um, would be rent control. So if we can just add um, a couple zeros to each of these prices, so uh, 600, 1,000, 1,800. Um, what we might see in a place like New York City is that the equilibrium price uh, for an apartment is $1,000 and the equilibrium quantity is 1,000 apartments. Um, if the government steps in and says, you know, $1,000 is too much for the average family to afford, so we're going to set the price at $600. Um, the result would be that only 60 or 600 apartments would be provided, um, whereas 1,400 be demanded. Um, so the result of this would be the black market where people would be renting their and subletting their apartments, um, not for $600, but all the way up to $1,800. So in general, um, price ceilings are created you know, with good goals in mind, um, but they can backfire and result in these shortages leading to black markets.